when the Lord sent me. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. I just knew that the Lord sent me to Haiti. My name is Phyllis Newby, and I'm a Jamaican by birth. For the last 47 years, I have resided in Haiti. I just saw the need and came. Ms. Phyllis is literally like a Mother Teresa here in Haiti. Um, everybody knows that she's the real deal. She never has anything, kept anything for herself. She's always thinking of others. Actually an honor to work alongside of her and very humbling just to watch her at 80 years old, all the things that she tackles. And I know I'm exhausted by the end of the day and she just continues to go. Um, it's very humbling. In Haiti, it's a place that you can not only give, but you can go. There's something for everybody, you know, whether you cook, whether you do construction, whether you teach, whether you, you just have a, a desire, that's all we need. And there's something for everybody, and we welcome anybody and everybody. Mission Haiti, we're a nonprofit organization that seeks to share the love of the Lord with the Haitian people and provide as we are able. Through Miss Phyllis Newby, we have a network of over 300 churches in Haiti, and that's an awesome network to use to get needs, who the needs really are. If there's one thing which I guess taught me is that people don't want to always hear a sermon. They want to see a sermon, or they need to see a sermon. Come and do it for yourself. You can see for yourself where your money's going if you choose to give in the future. Spread the gospel in Haiti by teaching, doing pastor's training, holding pastor's training every year, which reaches 240 something churches. Ministering outside of these gates so in whatever aspect that we can. We go outside the gate and do vacation Bible school in different villages. Um, help build churches. It's just literally whatever is thrown, we try to tackle it. You just need to come. You just need to come and be a part. And we'd love to have you, anybody, as long as the Lord lays it on your heart. Thank you, loved ones, and God continue to bless you.